What is up guys? We are post class. I'm nice and sweaty and sunscreeny out in my yard on my teaching platform. And I want to come out and make a, a quick instructional video about a movement that I'm specifically making this for a, an individual I have in mind who I'm hoping to get started with some training with his running practice, get him faster and stronger and even more injury resilient in 2021. But in the meantime, this is a movement, this is a key muscular skill, we'll call it, that I indirectly cue in my class all the time. If you've been in my class and you hear me tell you, lift your arches, sink those teeth, you know, sink roots into the ground through, sink those teeth is what I almost about to say, sink your toes into the ground. So press down into the toes, don't round them, press down, lift the arch, and really feel activation in the feet. Be grounded. Sometimes I'll even say, when we're, say for example, we're doing squats, we're doing plies, and we'll finish that exercise, and I'll say, anchor those feet and feel extremely rooted into the ground. I'm going to show you all this standing up in a second, but visual. So the idea is this exercise is in your foot locally, but it is a systemic exercise, right? It is an exercise that triggers the tensioning and co coordination of muscle systems that start in the feet where we interact with the world up our body. And it is critical, <laughs> okay? It's a really important part of having strong, stable, feet that tell your body useful things about the world so that your body is prepared to take those things on. What are you asking of your body? It depends. Maybe you're a runner like my friend. Maybe you do another sport that involves running. Awesome. Maybe even more important that you really have this cued in, right? So uh, let's start. The exercise is called short foot. I actually don't really understand where that comes from other than you're kind of shortening your foot. But it is an exercise that a lot of physical therapy therapists will teach and my issue, there's lots of videos, but it's a hard exercise to see, right? It's subtle. And a lot of people who show it, they've either been doing it for a long time or they've got healthy, strong feet. So they're showing off their toe yoga and then they've got this perfect lift in their arch and their, toe, their foot just looks like pristine. And you're like, what did they do? I, as someone who have had chronically weak feet for decades and I've made in the past several years major strides towards improving that, I'm really like, I feel like I have a little bit of an angle on how to teach this for someone like me for whom it's not intuitive and it might be a bit of a struggle. These muscles might be found like fundamentally asleep on you and it's gonna take some Jedi mind tricking to get your body to engage what you want. And then you're like, well, how do I know if I'm doing it, if I'm right or if I'm doing it right? And it's gonna be because of that anchored into the floor feeling you get. Remember, this is not a foot exercise. You're not scrunching a towel, okay? This is a, an exercise that's helping to gear you to be prepared to interact with the world. Okay, on that note, let's look at a foot. You wanna look at your medial arch of the foot. This is your inside line of your body, outside lateral line of the foot. We have arches on both sides, but this one is the one we're most concerned with for this exercise. I'm pretty close to you right now, but I want you to be able to appreciate that I'm standing, I'm not sitting, and I'm gonna put a little weight on this foot, and I'm gonna have a bent knee. So I'm gonna go far enough away so you can kind of get that, I think. Um, the reason you want to be standing on sitting is because, like I said, this is a systemic neurological triggering exercise. Part of your environment involves gravity. Your body will respond and know what you're asking more readily from a standing position when you're in interacting with gravity than when you're sitting. So eventually you can do this from a seated position and in other variations of the foot position, but this is the most vanilla way to start. So you are going to imagine the tripod of your foot, big big ball of the or ball of the big toe ball you could call it of the little toe right this segment and then a, one right dead center in your heel those three points right this middle arch of your foot your toes have lots to do with your body but for right now just picture this structure where you're initially bearing weight it's really important that this structure is stable this structure is made to be extremely mobile but we also have to be able to control that mobility that's the function of stabilizing this joint, okay? It's only as useful to us as we can be both mobile and stable. So this is a stability or a stabilizing exercise. We're asking for tension in the body. We're recruiting actually a primary muscle that deep in our calf, wraps around, connects to the highest point of the foot, and then like a fan or a hand under the foot pulls up under your arch. It actually connects to nine different places on your foot after that initial insertion on your navicular. If you're curious, I'm talking about your posterior tibialis. So it reaches under the foot and it pulls up. And you are thinking about that muscle when you do this exercise and you're using it to lift your arch. 
as you lift your arch, right, with that muscle, so you're not gonna lift your arch by rolling your foot, because a lot of times I hear that cue and it's like, well, you do lift your arch, but you lift it muscularly with this pulling action. So you're gonna feel like you're pulling your arch center, and as you're doing that, you're sliding, the, ball, uh, the balls of your feet, right, the top part of your foot is sliding back towards the heel, it's compacting. And as you do that, rather than crunching the toes, you're gonna push them straight down. So I've heard people say, push your toenails into the floor. And I was like, what does that mean? My toenails don't reach the floor. What they mean is the tips of your toes. And it's not like the point of your toe, okay? The bottom pad of your toe, like that. Claw the ground. Get traction, think panther paw, claw into the ground. Drive down, straight down into the toes. You're gonna feel the ball of your foot lift, okay? It doesn't have to come up high, but it's gonna get lighter as opposed to digging it into the floor and feeling more pressure here. No, that's not what we want. You wanna push into, so first thinking the mass of the foot. The mass of the foot pulling up, press in, keep the toes long, keep the toes long, don't let them crunch, keep them long. Squeeze from here, pull, you see the activation, see that active lift? Cramp it out a little for me, and then give me some extra sauce and drive those toes down. Pull in, press down, right? Now, and then release. Now, uh, this, like I said, this is an exercise that, man, messages, that connects to your whole body, right? Because again, our body works in systems, right? It's not, it's not interested in cuts of meat at the grocery store. Your body works in systems, and so many of those muscular systems start in the feet. Your muscles are fascially connected. And this is really key because this particular muscle that we're triggering here, which it's, it's all the muscles of the foot, okay? All the muscles between the metatarsals, all the muscles in, you know, um, that move the toes, that activate those toes. It's not even worth mentioning them. This is not a single muscle exercise. But the single muscle, I'm sorry, I'm so shiny and sweaty. It's a little distracting for me, but just enjoy my glow. Um, oh, and I have a light right here. That's why I'm so shiny. I'm like, why? I have a I literally have a floodlight right there. That's hilarious. But we're going to leave it. It's not highlighter. It's just sunscreen. <laughs> okay. Anyway, pale girl problems. So you, um, I want you to think that muscle attaches to your deep fascia that goes up your body and into your pelvic floor. And in particular, this muscle associates fascially with your rear pelvic floor, your posterior pelvic floor. Guess where that associates? Your glutes, okay? So when you, and I'm, I'm telling you this because as an athlete or someone who just wants to move in a stronger, more athletic way, you need your feet and you need your glutes, okay? And they tend to be sleepy on us because, sleepy feet, sleepy glutes, because we wear stiff shoes that don't let our foot articulate into the floor. They give us no feedback and we completely enfeeble the muscles of our feet. I'm speaking from experience. When you do that, you will enfeeble your glutes. And then if you want any sort of propulsive power, okay, your glutes are your one of your biggest muscles in your body and they are equipped to be a big, strong muscle for a reason. We need them. So when they're asleep, a lot goes to hell, okay? our back, our hip, our knees, and then circularly our feet as well. It's a system. So very important, start with this exercise. It's gonna be a 10 minute video about a very simple exercise, but it's not an easy exercise. You're gonna start, practice both feet one at a time so your brain can really focus on the task. Don't worry about if you're getting a bit of a cramp, back off, get a cramp, back off, but otherwise try to go for activation and then little by little you're gonna be able to be just standing you know, washing your dishes, engage short foot, or you're gonna, oh, another thing, keep your knees soft, okay? Don't have your, even if you're in your single leg, don't be straight leg, really soften that knee because this is going to spiral as you lift that, it's affecting the alignment of your tibia under your knee, and you don't wanna be locked and then further locking that knee. Okay, so just a little word, keep it soft, but again, because we're in athletic stance, we will not have locked knees in athletic stance, we're here, we're lifting. And as you squat, as you deadlift, you're gonna to start to incorporate, as you're in my class and we're doing side-to-side -side lunges and plies, you're gonna to start to think, short foot, engage, spiral that action up from the arch of the foot, over that side toy, into the glutes, and then release it. All right, have fun guys. I hope this was fun. I hope this was um, a good challenge. I hope you are enjoying my glow. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.